Mince pie with icing on top. No. Morning, y'all. Right, it's wet, it's dark, it's gone eight o'clock. And it's like black, dark out there, no light at all. So we're gonna be stuck indoors all day. It's kind of a bit of a common theme this time of year, isn't it? We've got a swing. We're gonna help this guy with his swing here. He's got many different paths going on there, depending on which part we're looking at. We're gonna talk about how he uses the ground, try to chop path. Obviously, face the past always gonna have to be talked about. So let's see what we can do inside today, shall we? Question of the day for you today as well. We haven't done one of them for a while. Uh, Christmas is coming. I did this on social. Let's hear you now on YouTube. Forget budgets. You can buy any driver you want or get given whatever driver you want. You've tested every driver. Which one do you mostly desire? In the comment section down below. Hit the thumbs up button. You're not hitting the thumbs up button as well like you used to. You need to be reminded a little bit sometimes. And don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. If you don't subscribe to the channel already, then you just get notifications. Every time I post a new video, which is quite a lot to be honest. Right, let's take a look at this guy's swing. There's a lot going on. We're going to use the ground first and we're going to use a simple step. So we're going to use this door frame and the ledge of that step coming down because I need you to start thinking about the way you're pushing on the ground to try and get any control of the many paths that you have. So what I mean by the many paths, back swing for you, you start by pushing pressure into the left toe, hands go out as your body starts to rear up. And then you get to a certain point there, so you could call that pushing outside, so what people might think about doing. Then from there, you then turn and sway back into your right side, it kind of gets everything almost back to where you feel would be more sensible, so you don't just follow that track. But because of the way you're pushing in the ground, it's a very left toe and then middle of right foot. It's almost like toe, uh, toe of the right foot as well, with it slightly swayed out, because you kind of kicked into your right side. We then see this massive shove outwards on the way down and standing up at the club as the left foot is powering into the left heel so as you come through you can get the path going left left foot spins out because it's the heel the ankle just can't take what you're putting on it so the way you're pushing in the ground using the pressure in the ground encourages you to make the many paths if you like the out then back and then the out and then left all jumbled up paths that you get kind of work for you to a certain extent, but you're gonna do what you say in the message, which is a bit cuts and not strike it anywhere near as good as you can. We're gonna get grip of your face the path on the downswing in some point, very quickly, but we're gonna start by just trying to get you to think about how you're pushing in the ground. So the way you push in the ground is quite abstract and hard for people to think about. So the easiest way to get them to really start instantly feeling it is to take balance away from them. So I'm gonna stand on this ledge so this step into my kitchen to a point where when I lean forward to take my posture, I almost feel like I'm losing my balance. So the fact that I've lost my balance or close to now makes me much more aware of where I'm pushing my weight. So forwards, backwards, left and right, and into the corners as well. So get yourself on a step, toes hanging over. And I want you to make some back swings where you feel like your hands come back towards your right pocket. Where you feel like the ridge of the step under your feet, you're keeping that pushed into with your feet. So you're not moving onto your toes or your heels too much. If anything, you're going slightly into the right heel on the back swing. So as I feel unbalanced, I'm pushing my hands towards my right pocket. So you could just kind of put your arms across your chest if you're right, imagine your hands, they turn your shoulders so they're pulling in and feel that weight along the line of the, the ledge. So I'm literally just forward of my balls on this ledge. And then on the way down, same thing, still rotating your body so don't not turn to do it, so still turn. I'm gonna feel slightly heel based on the way back there now, so really balanced, the ledge is irrelevant because I've got no pressure forward of that ledge. And as I come down, I'm moving that pressure into the middle part of that left foot, not so much onto the toes. Not that's a problem, I just want you to feel more linear, uh, linear with your pressure movement. And then turning through up onto the left heel. See, I pushed a bit forward there onto my toes, so I almost lost balance. So My brain reacted quickly, and you saw me kind of whoop, just pull myself back. 
This kind of drill will get you understanding how to push in the ground, which will help us massively get rid of this takeaway where you basically set the feet with the pressure in the ground and the club in quite a negative way, which you're then really not recovering. So you could call this a takeaway drill, but it's more the sequence and the direction that you're pushing in the ground as you make whatever takeaway. So you could push the club out like you do, but if the use of the ground was better for you, I think you wouldn't have the major corrections and lack of corrections that we see in the path. We need to deal with a downswing idea in relationship to that pressure movement and we need to get hold of your club face on the way down, give you some awareness of some of the twists you need to put in. This is a great starting point. Soup time. So before we pour the soup, let's get a hold of your wrist angles on the way down with the saucepan. So a little footnote on the first tip, if you want your right hip to go back to allow you to feel more balanced, don't try and feel like you have to keep your legs still because it's a bit quiet in the lower half. Don't be afraid to turn them on the way back as you do that drill on the step there. So do your new backswing now where you feel you're pushing into the ground differently, but downswing, when you get down to last parallel, your saucepan is pointing up to the sky. So last parallel, your saucepan's got all its liquid in it, and then as you come through, you keep it in there, and then on the way through, you'll throw it backwards over your left shoulder. I want you to get this in your head, this next movement, because this will allow us to change the standing up of the club on the way down, if we can do this next wrist angle. So I want you to get the last parallel and feel like you've tipped all the contents of this saucepan out already. Turn it down to the ground. Last parallel, there, for you. It's not only out here, but it's up to the sky. I don't care that it's out there at the minute. I want it just pointing down to the ground, all the content's coming out. Then on the way through, I want you to chuck it over to the left as well. If anything's left in there, I want it going out to the left side before it comes over your shoulder. Not up to the sky, keeping it in there, chucking it over your left shoulder. Chuck it out early, and if there's anything left, chuck it out to the left. So the, the left wrist on the way down will feel like it's moving this way to turn it down more, and on the way through, like it's folding over. This will make the standing up of the club that you do, the swinging left that you do, which hopefully pushing into the ground has calmed down, make no sense. It will make you want to do the last drill, to get rid of the standing up of the club. Because if you do your action with my wrist movements there, with your standing up of the club, that makes your shots unfunctional. They go low left, because this takes the loft off and puts the face close to the path. Remember, your path wants to go way left. They are the building blocks for lots of students, certainly ones with extreme movements like you. They're the building blocks to allow them to make a different move. If you just laid the shaft down, but with the wrist angles and the club face that you use at the minute, your shots would just go straight over there, high right. They would make no sense and you'd go straight back to your old movement. If you persevere with this movement, it'll make more sense to try and lay the club down and get the path moving slightly more right. Soup first, then the last drill. All right, coach. I'm all right, you? You all right in there? Yes. A bit rainy, isn't it? Another day watching the rain fall out the window. Icing on top mince pie? Mm, no, I don't like mince pies. Wow. Sorry, that's gonna hurt lots of people hearing that, isn't it? That is cutting deep. Mince pie with icing on top? No. Without icing better, or you just you could just eat the icing like a baba would? <laughs> <laughs> Lick it off the top. And then just walk off with it left on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Play with your bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Last drill, done this many times before. It's a good one for trying to get the feeling of the club laying down. To be honest with you, with what we've done prior, I think you'll start making inroads on this club laying down ideas. This would be the last thing I want you to do. Obviously doing this indoors, you could do it outside as well. It's raining outside, so we're gonna keep it indoors. Split those hands. Put the club up behind your head like you're making a backswing. If you can feel, obviously, that pressure in the ground still the same way, literally just pull right hand down level with left and then spin that club out in front of you. As you spin the club out in front of you, let the right hand just move up towards the left. 
so it'll make it feel a little bit more realistic. Try and keep your hips turning. Try and feel like you're pushing that weight down into the ground and getting it onto your front foot. While at the same time, if my sofa wasn't there, you could spin out and make a follow through. So you could do this outside so you don't hit anything. And try and hold on to that left foot. Remember the left foot was spinning out. It shouldn't spin out anywhere near as much as it was if you get the pressure in the ground working better for you like we did on the doorstep. Just dropping that club, laying it down with the other two things would really help. I think it's a lot, almost too much to think about. I wouldn't go to the range and do all these strings bang in one shot. I would definitely do the step drill as much as you can indoors and take that feeling to the range. Wrist angles, absolutely. If the ball still goes low left when you do those two things, use this third one to try and push that path further out to the right. Post comments down below, let me know if this makes sense. The ground drill has really transformed so many of my students, but I'll be honest with you, it's not the quickest change and it's a hard one. So it is gonna require a little bit of work, this one. As you can see, the, the swing is kind of a little bit all over the shop, uh, but I think you've got loads of room to improve. Right, I got one more of these to give away. Bushnell have given us another Phantom. Ride a cup logoed. You want to win this? You need to make sure you are subscribed to this channel. One lucky subscriber will win this lovely Bushnell Golf Phantom. When, when will they win it? I need a diary, don't I? Because it's like it's Christmas soon, isn't it? I'm losing track. Christmas Eve, the 24th. I'll announce this. If not on a video, on my socials, so if you don't follow me, at Crosswood Mark on Instagram, at Full Golf Online on Twitter, or Mark Crosswood on Facebook, one of those, because uh, I'll announce it on one of those platforms, if not on YouTube, which I might still do as well, subject to my filming schedule. Phantom, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't already, you can be a subscriber from day one, or one joining in the last 10 minutes, one of you's gonna win. Nice early Christmas present. See you all tomorrow.